Hello, this is Sana, and let's get ready for spring. Yes, we're in the middle of autumn, um, and I've just winterized my geraniums, but now let's actually use those pots to get ready for spring. Um, to do that, we'll use bulbs, because just like the geraniums, don't like the frost, and that's why we put them away uh, for the winter, um, the bulbs really do. Uh, so they like that nice cold weather, and they'll get nice and settled into the soil um, over that time and then burst forth um, early in the spring. Choose bulbs that are um, really early starters. And the reason for that is I'd really love to see that um, as soon as spring um, will give us flowers, let's see them. Um, also, as they start to um, wither, that's about the time I wanna take out the geraniums and poke those back into the soil so that way we can have um, a riot of color all summer long. I always like to use the um, kitchen principle of mise en place, so everything in its place. So we need um, a few things. Uh, first of all, we've got a pot um, and enough soil to fill it. Um, I also have handy a wheelbarrow. Um, and shovel. I also do like to have a little bit of um, some sort of fertilizer here. I've used, um, I'm gonna use kelp meal. Um, that is a good um, type of fertilizer to help the roots um, really take hold. Using three different levels of bulbs. Um, first of all, I'll start with really early bulbs, um, daffodils. I've got a mixture here, so we'll get a really nice mix of um, yellows, whites, oranges, and even a bit of salmon color. Um, and those will pop up really early in the season. Also have um, some early royal dwarf mixture of irises. Irises are also a great choice. They're early and they last a little bit. Um, both of these are also very resistant to um, animals. So we've got a lot of squirrels and even deer around here. Um, and they are not fans of daffodils or iris bulbs. Perfect to plant. They are fans of tulip bulbs, so we need to be very cautious about where we actually plant these. Um, I am putting them in pots, um, so they are more protected from the deer, um, who do think of them as a salad bar. So, And we will plant them um, six inches deep, um, so the squirrels won't get to those. So we've got everything handy, and now it's time to plant. Just talk about the pot. So if it's a pot that you're going to leave outside um, throughout the winter, and you're in an area that snows or has ice uh, or a lot of freezing, then you need to make sure to have one that can survive that. And a lot of ceramic pots will not. But they often will break or chip, um, and it can be very precarious for anything that's ceramic, porcelain, etc. So what I've got here is a foam pot, and what I love about that is it's actually light as well. So it's heavy enough that it'll stay put, but it's light enough to actually move around a bit. Um, also another good alternative, I've got some um, metal urns in the front, which also work well all throughout the winter. Um, anything that uh, will survive through is the type that you want to be using. Since I want to do multiple layers, I've gone ahead, grabbed a uh, shovel and just shoveled out a little bit of the soil so that I've taken the soil level down. That will uh, make it easier for me just to get loads and loads of bulbs into the pot. We'll start with a little bit of that kelp meal. Remember what we want to do here is encourage the roots. So it should be underneath the bulbs uh, just to encourage those roots. I'll just put a nice little sprinkling there. And now the first um, layer of our bulbs. A nice big grouping of them. And I'll just push them in. Remember we want the pointy end at the top and that root ball at the bottom. You'll see a nice rough root uh, if you have daffodils. Um, some others will not have that root so prominent, but remember it's just pointy end up. For container gardening, put the bulbs close together, a couple inches apart, to be able to have the best bouquet effect. Now I will cover it with a couple of inches 
Now I've chosen to put the daffodils in because um, at the real bottom because they are the larger um, of the bulbs and that uh, they don't mind to have about six to eight inches of soil on top of them. A good rule of thumb if you are looking at bulbs is to look at the size of the bulb and think about two or three times that on top of it. So that means six to eight inches for these nice large um, daffodil bulbs. Tulip bulbs, it's probably more about six inches. So we will do that um, now. Again, a little sprinkling of the kelp meal, couple inches between them. Um, so that they are, again, got a little bit of room but more than I would if I was um, in an outdoor um, bed setting uh, where I'd want these to naturalize. Here I'm looking for real density, real nice in color. Now what will happen here is that, first of all, um, they'll um, all take root now. Um, and it is autumn. Um, about a week before our expected first frost, um, they will start to grow roots in, but they will stay below the soil's end. So we will not see these until spring. So they will find their way, those daffodils first through the tulips. The tulips will find their way up, um, and then we'll have a nice burst of the purple tulip color um, coming in in a giant bouquet after. So now I've got those tulips in. Let's uh, just cover those over. And now I'll go ahead and cover all the way to the top now. And I've still got the irises to put in. Um, but those are really quite small bulbs. And those are very happy um, to be just poked in from the top. 25 of these bulbs. They are very small um, little guys, kind of like uh, the size of garlic cloves, and they've got a similar shape. So no real noticeable root, but they've got that nice big point. Um, so that makes it nice and easy. Um, you just want it about finger depth, so you can just poke your finger in. I will put these around the edge and then poke them down in. We'll do um, a full round, again, just a couple of inches around and then do another internal circle of them um, just to add a little bit more density. Um, the reason I like to use um, real density is to really get that um, riot of color that you can get. Um, looks like a real bouquet that you might get from a florist when you've got um, one type of flower um, and you know one theme of color. Pointy end up, down in, and around we go. Doesn't have to be too complicated, and we'll have beautiful blooms um, coming in this next spring. I've just packed this down lightly with my fingers. We don't need to compact it any further, but what I will do now is to um, sprinkle it with water. Um, and the main reason to put water on it now is actually not so much to hydrate it as it is to make sure that we've got all of the air pockets out of the water or out of the soil here um, to make sure that it's nicely packed and ready to go. Um, then we just leave it alone. Um, it'll be just fine here. If you are in extremely cold conditions, um, then you may want to put a little bit uh, of mulch on top. Um, but with these bulbs, remember, they actually really do like the cold. That's why they do so well in containers. And now here in autumn, it's time to get them in um, just before the uh, first frosts. Let them sit and we'll see them early in the year, um, next year, as soon as it starts to warm up. Um, we'll even get those daffodils normally, even while there's still um, frosts and things happening. So nice and early. Um, and then we can um, have these pots completely done. Um, they've done their spring color and they'll be ready for any summer plantings uh, that you want to do, um, such as um, the overwinterized geraniums.